Hey you guys, what's going on? So today in this video, just going to kind of talk and uh, not really going to talk about any lures or anything like that. Kind of just a, I guess you talk like a vlog video, I guess you'd say. I don't know. Um, but figured I'd go ahead and turn on the camera. Didn't really get out to make an in-depth video today. Was wanting to, but I didn't get to. Um, was working, was splitting wood and stuff like that. And then, you know, all that kind of stuff. So... This weekend is youth season here in Illinois. For some stupid reason, they decided to have a youth season on the first weekend of deer season. Um, I don't know why. Um, just Illinois is stupid. That's the only thing I can say. Um, but, yeah, that's what happened on this weekend. That's what's going to happen this weekend. I can't hunt because I don't have the youth tags. Plus, I don't really want to because there's a bunch of different setup rules for youth hunting here in Illinois. And I don't want to mess with all of them because they're stupid. I'd rather just go deer hunting. But I can't this weekend, so I gotta wait until next weekend. So this weekend, um, probably, hopefully gonna get to go fishing. Um, I don't know when, probably either Saturday or Sunday. Um, so that'll be pretty cool. I'll be able to get some videos done, hopefully. Um, I'll be doing a lot of work around the, around the house and stuff. But I'll also be doing some videos as well. That's pretty much all I'm going to be doing because this weekend we have like a four-day weekend. So I'll be able to get some videos made and I'll be able to hopefully get some work done. So that'll be good. Um, tomorrow morning, I think, maybe, I don't know. It depends on how I feel when I get up. Um, I might do some squirrel hunting with my bow. So that'll be pretty fun. Um, might go deer hunting as well. I don't know. So, uh, yeah. I don't know. Hopefully, if I do go squirrel hunting, I'll be able to get some squirrels. One of the things that I love to do is while I'm deer hunting, I'll just see a little squirrel hopping across the trail, and I'll be like, you know what? Ain't seen no deer today, so whack! And I'll shoot them, and I'll get them, and I'll bring them home, and we'll fry them up for supper. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's easy target practice because there's literally thousands of them where I hunt, and uh, it's pretty easy. You know, they'll come close enough where you could probably shoot them with a slingshot, honestly. Um, I have done that before, but I didn't kill it because I was throwing walnuts. I was using a uh, walnut as my uh, ammo because I didn't have any rocks or anything like that. And I actually hit a squirrel in the head with a walnut. Didn't kill it, but that was kind of funny. So, yeah, that's probably what's going to end up happening this weekend. I'm going to be doing, hopefully, some fishing. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to get out and try this thing here out, the Pond Hopper, the new Doc's Lure Company Pond Hopper. Super excited to try that thing out. Can't wait to see what I can catch on it. If you guys follow my Facebook, which I suggest you do, because on there you'll get pictures of baits that maybe I'm not talking about at the moment on my videos. Um, you'll see any deals that I do on there. Um, anything like that I'll post on there. Also, if I catch a fish that's not on camera or if I don't make a video of it, I'll post the pictures on there. I posted a picture the other day of a four pounder I caught on a prototype bait that will be coming out here in the next few weeks. Um, I actually have two different baits that are going to be coming out here in the next coming weeks. And on the first cast I ever made with one of them, I caught a four and a half pounder. So it's a really good bait. I'm super excited. For I think that this winter it's going to be a very key bait in my arsenal. The only the only times I'll get to go fishing when it's cold out is this will probably be one of the baits I'm only going to be throwing because it is a super good bait in cold water. I see people constantly throwing them in cold water situations. So super excited about that. We'll be releasing that bait soon. Not quite yet, but I will be releasing it soon. Um, I got another bait that I'm super excited about. It's a creature bait. That's all I'm going to uh, say about that. It's a bait that I've never seen any other lure company have. It's kind of a uh, Doc's Lure Company own design. Um, I've never seen another lure like this. So pretty excited about it. I think it'll be really cool. Um, when I say that, um, you know, I'm going off of what I've seen. And trust me. I've seen a ton of lures, and I've seen a ton of baits in my time. Um, I've only been bass fishing for like five years, but I've seen just about every lure there is. Um, I've seen a bunch, a ton and a half of them, and I've never seen a lure quite like this. 
and I think it'll be really good in bed fishing situations and also out deep catching big fish um, during summertime. Um, so I think it's going to be really cool. Um, also, another thing that's going to be happening here soon is um, I'm going to be getting a couple different other baits besides these two. I'm going to be designing a few other baits uh, for colder water applications and for spawning when the fish are on beds applications as well. Um, I'm going to start trying to create baits for the certain types of time of the year. Um, I'm going to have a couple baits that are going to be coming out here soon that are going to be winter time baits. I'm going to get some that are going to be, I'm going to start making some that are spawning time baits. Um, and then I'll make some baits for summertime and wintertime again. You know, it'll go back and forth through. Um, but right now, I'm super excited to get to try this thing here out. I'll also be trying out the new prototype baits when I go fishing this weekend, hopefully. Um, and who knows, I might catch another big one on it. I'd love to catch another four pounder on one of those baits or on this little pond hopper. If you guys haven't checked out these pond hoppers, these things are awesome. If you guys didn't see my last video, these things are insanely cool. They're a really good bait. They're very, they're a compact, it's a very compact body. It's pretty small compared to other buzzing frogs. And it's got a lot of different action than I've ever seen on a different buzzing frog. So that's pretty much what's going to happen. Um, November is quite a few days away. I think it's only the 7th, right? Is it? Um, it is the, oh, it's wow, it's the 4th. I was quite a ways off there. Um, it is the 4th of uh, October so there's quite a few days still that um, are going to be left until November. Once November kicks in probably not going to be any fishing. I'm probably mainly going to be hunting because that's when the rut is. If you don't know what the rut is if you don't deer hunt the rut is basically when the bucks start looking for does to do you know to make babies to make little ones and when they do that then bucks start getting stupid and that's when you can catch them out out of their bedding areas and stuff and you can get them. Um, I actually have, um, if you guys are deer hunters and you've ever seen these before, um, I have a Montana decoy. If you don't, don't, if you don't know what those are, it's basically a flat decoy. It looks exactly like a deer, but it's completely flat. And I have one. I paid for it, like I paid 60 bucks for it, and I got it a long time ago, actually. I never done an uh, unboxing video on it. I kind of figured I'd wait until deer season to do a video on it. Uh, to just to see how it works. Um, so it is really cool. I'm super excited to try it out during deer season or during the, the rut and stuff, you know. So I'm really excited. Um, I can't wait for the rut time to kick in because last or two years ago, back in 2016, um, the rut kicked in and November 13th, I killed 145 inch, or, yeah, 145 inch deer and then uh, let me see if I can remember correctly. November 20th, I seen a giant 8-pointer, probably a good 160 size 8-pointer. Then on November 21st, this all happened in like four days. This I killed deer on the 13th. Then I seen a bunch of other deer, a bunch of smaller bucks and a lot of does and stuff. And then in the 20th, 21st, and 22nd, and 23rd, those four days were probably the craziest four days of deer hunting I've ever had. Um, on the 20th, like I said, I seen a giant eight-pointer, and I was kind of hunting for that buck. And then on the 21st, I uh, seen a huge seven-pointer, a really tall but really thin mass seven-pointer. It was pouring down rain that day. It was miserable. That was the only deer I seen, but it was a pretty good-sized one. Um, then on November 22nd, I nearly died. Um, a big old huge, I think it was, I think it was an eight or a nine pointer, uh, but it was really busted up, had a lot of broken tines that were just like half as long as they normally would be. Um, he almost ran me over. Um, I actually had, I don't think I have it with me now. I don't feel it in my pockets. Um, but when I go hunting, I usually have a tape measure. It's always been in my, uh, uh what is it called? The, uh, overall type things. Um, can't remember what they're called but they're camouflage like overalls that I wear while deer hunting when it's cold out and I always had them in there don't really know why but I had them in there and this deer nearly ran me over and he stood there and I stepped back because I didn't want to shoot it because it was all busted up and I stepped back because I had steel-toed boots on and I was going to kick it in the face 
and I stepped back, and he was running at me. He stopped right here, like he was right here. And I was like, okay, take another step. I'm going to kick him in the face. He was chasing the doe, and there was another buck that was chasing the doe also. I've made a video on this story before, but I'll just give you the slow parts of it, or the fast parts of it. And he stands there for a second, and then he runs off. And I go ahead, after these deer are done, disappeared, I measured it, and that deer was actually six or seven feet, six and a half or seven feet away from me. That's how close he got to me before he stopped. And these deer were running full blast, too. And I think I got pretty lucky that day because if he would have just kept running, he probably would have either got me with one of his antlers or hurt me pretty bad because if he didn't stop, I don't know what would have happened. Probably would have broke my bow or hurt me in some way. So I'm glad that he didn't do that. But then on, I think it was the 22nd or the 23rd, no, it was the 23rd, um, I seen probably one of the biggest bucks I've ever seen. Um, huge giant what I think was either a 10 or a 12 pointer and I actually scared him out of honeysuckle brush and he bolted off with a couple does and then the 24th I was sitting up in the deer stand that we called the doe stand because we always seen does there and uh, somebody I think it was my dad who told me to sit there that morning and it was about 9 9 30 in the evening or in the morning and uh, I was getting bored. I was really getting bored because I wasn't seeing much. I seen like two does. And then all of a sudden, I see this doe come running in behind me. And there's a smaller buck behind her. And they ran in and they stopped. Both at the same time look back behind them. And I'm like, okay, that's a little weird. So I look back where they're at and freaking giant buck, easily the biggest buck I've ever seen alive, um, steps up over this hill and just stands there looking all big and proud had his huge crown up on his head and he stood there for a little bit and he's at 50 yards i'm sitting there and i'm thinking okay i'm decent at 30 can i hit at 50 probably not i'm not going to take a chance at wounding this giant deer and then him running off running on someone else's property and dying that would suck i'll just wait hope he comes closer he never came closer he actually walked exactly where he just came from Go figure, right? He walked straight away from me, and I watched that giant rag walk right over the hill and gone. So, that sucks. But 2017, going into that year, I was I was hopeful because i seen those giant bucks that year. I had one shot at a deer, and I missed it. It was probably the biggest buck I've ever had a shot at. Um, it was 160 inches, I'd say. Big old 10-pointer, and uh, had some stickers and stuff on its, on its uh, bases. And he walked right in at 20 yards. He kept walking. He wouldn't stop. I was yelling at it to stop, and he just never stopped. So I took a walking shot and literally had hairs on my broadhead. So that wasn't very happy. I was I was not happy. I was kicking myself all the way back home. Um, I was not happy with that day. Um, I actually made a video on that. I was standing out there at the pond that same day, I think it was, and I made a video on that. You guys can go back and check that one out. Um, but yeah. I was not happy that day at all. So hopefully this year is going to be good. Um, I think karma hopefully will reward me for having the bad year last year. Maybe I'll have a good year this year. I don't know. That's what happened back in 2016, 2015. I didn't shoot a single deer. 2017, I didn't shoot a single deer. 2016, I had one of the best years of my life. Hopefully this year will be a, re a repeat of 2016. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, thank you guys for watching. Also, I said that already, but, um, let me know if there's any videos you guys want me to do any specific types of videos. Um, I'm looking for suggestions of different types of videos. So thanks for watching. Bye.